Now you've been studying science for a long time, but what is science and what is a scientific method and who are the scientific community? Well, what it comes down to is people, you know, very much like yourself, who are scientists. And what they do is they propose a new theory. What they then do is they try and test that theory out. And by carrying out, uh, you know, fair tests, they look at the link between maybe the, some independent variable and something that that then affects. And what they can then do is if they carry the experiments correctly, they can then try and validate their data. And what they do is they then publish a paper. Now, the paper that they publish, uh, and this is something which is really great about the science, that everybody's fairly open, is they send out their paper and it's what we call peer reviewed. And here are their peers. And what these people do is they try and replicate what the first scientist did. So maybe using the same method. And if they can find that they get uh, similar results and actually they can replicate um, the kind of claimed results of this first scientist, then the paper is said to be validated. So that means this knowledge that one person had has spread to more people. Once they've gone through this peer review process, the paper can then be published. And then that means other scientists can then read it and maybe use their ideas from the first scientist in their research, which then might uh, go on to maybe writing more papers. And then more scientists look at this, they peer review it, they kind of try and like pick holes in it. He has to argue his case to kind of say, well, actually, I'm right. This is some evidence for what I'm doing. And this is the scientific community working together. They look at each other's work, they try and pick holes in it. And if they find that it's all true and it all works and they can replicate the data, what we then have is an accepted body of evidence. So just to summarise that, a scientist, or in these uh, days often a group of scientists, they propose a new theory and they have some maybe data to back it up. This paper then gets peer reviewed by other scientists who work in the same field and they try and pick holes in it. They kind of look for any things that maybe the first team have overlooked and they go through this peer review process. If they can replicate the data, then the paper is then published and it becomes part of the accepted literature, which can then be used by other scientists for their research. They might build on it with their own theory and so on. If, however, it can't be replicated or there's arguments that can't really be followed through, the paper isn't published. It goes back to the original team to either work on the flaws in their, in their data and the way that they're gathering data, or perhaps it doesn't get published at all because it's not uh, been sort of following kind of strict scientific methodology. And this is the great thing about science. You know, sometimes uh, teams of scientists, they find out stuff that they didn't expect and they then pass that information out freely so that other people can see where maybe this first team have overlooked something and they try and help each other out to kind of broaden and deepen this understanding or this, this kind of pool of knowledge for humanity. And that's really just a little introduction to the scientific community and why it is that people at universities and postdocs and uh, professors and so on, they're always writing new papers, they're working collaboratively with other people across the world in order to kind of broaden uh, our understanding of science.